brings us to our college basketball all-star team. And as you might have surmised from the first few segments of the show, apparently there are occasional differences of opinion here. <laughs> so we're all going to work together and come up with an all-star team. And it is comprised of the player pool of the late season top 20 group for the Wooden Award. So these have been deemed to be the top players in the sport up to this point. Those other guys can be added if they play well down the stretch. But I digress. So let's put together our all-star team and the starters. And here's, we're going to get off to a nice, easy start because I don't think there's really any reason to discuss this much. Purdue's Zach Eady, he's the all-star center. They can boo him all he wants. He's, yeah, he's they can go ahead and boo if they want to. And Arts the fact that he's a no-brainer means he doesn't get talked about enough okay. about what he does. Okay, so give me a quick, a quick one there. What do you like most? about the fact that, I mean, he's 7'4", he dominates games. What is it that you like particularly about Edie? He's the best player in the country, and for like the third year in a row, he's the most improved player in the country. Yeah. And you have to game plan for him. Every team has to change what they do for him. Every team. I mean, he is singular in college basketball, and he's the, the biggest force in the game. Okay. He averages a triple-double, points, rebounds, and free throw. Okay, points. so give me somebody from this list at any position, set that you want to join Zach Eady as a starting well, all-star. If you've got a great big, you've got to have a great point guard, Tyler Kolick. Yep. Tyler Kolick is the mailman. He delivers. He makes no, the game no easy question. for everyone. He sees plays early. Yeah. He drops dimes. He is a savant in ball screen. I, I just love him for his feel of the game. I mean, uh, I, his assist speak for itself. And the way he plays, he knows how to make everybody else around him that much better. He's so patient. And for me, it's the way he changes speeds. The hesitation dribble, freezing Ooh. his defender. He's so crafty the way he finishes, the way he delivers the ball. He plays with his teammates. He yeah. sets them up for success. He is the ultimate point guard. Okay, a lot of group think there. Yeah. Is everyone okay with Tyler Kolick being a starting? Okay, it's a no-brainer. Okay. No brainer for that's Tyler Cole. That's good for this got, group. He's he's got got a, yeah, yeah, that's how we <laughs> operate most of the time. So you've got a point guard, you've got a big man. Okay, Andrea, give me someone else you would like to see in the starting five. Ooh. Go ahead and do it. Just own home. <laughs> go back home. Go home. Yeah, go home. Yeah, I, I feel like I can't. Uh, I, I have to put Dalton Connect that's as right. a starter. What he's been able to do this season for Tennessee is scoring his point production, the tough shots that he's able to make. I know the Auburn fans hate it. That's fine. He can shoot. Threes off the dribble, mid-range game. He can get to the rim. He has powerful finishes. I mean, he's put up historical numbers in the SEC already this season. I'll be quick, RD. This dude wasn't on the draft board at the beginning of the year. Now he's a top five pick. Top five pick in the draft. Like, that's how talented Dalton can be. You look up matchup nightmare, and it's a picture of Dalton Connect. Come on, man. Okay, let me ask you this. Are you going to play him? as a third guard slash small forward, or are you good with him getting the starting all-star nod, say, over R.J. Davis? You can do both. Yeah. Why can't you do both? Best players. I'd, I'd put him in the, four, in the three spot. Okay. Yeah. Are you good with that set? I have no problem with that because I have a two-way defender at the two spot. Okay, well, oh, you no. might not get your way, though. Oh, no. it's, I know, it's just my it's brain trust. <laughs> okay, we do have a six-man rule, so let's go Dalton Connect here, and I'm gonna put him I'm going to put him in this three spot. Okay. All right. Oh. And then that leaves another guard spot open and also a spot for a power forward. Jay, who would you like to see on the board? Are you talking guard or power forward? It's up to you. You choose who you'd most like to see as the all-star. If, if I go guard, I'm going R.J. Davis. Mm -hmm. I'm putting R.J. Davis there from North Carolina. He's leading the ACC in scoring. He's essentially a point guard that is a two guard as well. He can operate in both capacities. He runs the break. Uh, he's, he's a knockdown free throw shooter. If you foul him at the end of the game, he's making those free throws. And another guy who hasn't gotten his two, he and Caleb Love played together. Caleb Love went to Arizona, and they're both having All-America seasons. Uh, but I put R.J. Davis there first. I love R.J. Davis. I think he's terrific. But I would put, if you want to put, put together a team, I'm putting Kevin McCullough at the two guard because you've got to have someone who can defend. He's one of the best two-way players in college basketball. Shooting a three at a 38%. Terrific passer, great cutter, an elite defender. I would put. Who's defending in an all-star game? I don't care. You're trying to <laughs> Who's put defending in an all-star game? We want points on the board. It's an, an all-America team by position. <laughs> by position. I like okay. Kevin McCullough. 
Devin McC but I'd put McCullough at the four spot. I I'd have play. Yeah. I'd have him play four. Ooh, I, what I can't do that. about the Ron Holmes? I can't do it. I'll, I'll go with RJ. Okay. I'll go RJ, too. I'm, I can't I go get with Kevin to, McCullough. I get to break the ties and decide. I'm going RJ Davis. I'm with you there, Reese. Well. I'm with you. Now. You just wanted a Davis on there. Well, that's true. That, and we um, want to get points on the board. I'm not going to lie about that. But also, to show that I am a benevolent dictator, I had Dalton Connect as a sixth man when I turned in, turned in these guys. So, okay. Oh, I can uh, are you up? Yeah, you're up. Give me your last starter here. All right. We got a chance to call the game. I, I do love watching Broom play. Sorry, Arba. He is just against you guys. No, I'm not. I'm wearing their... <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Versus Charles Barkley. He's such kidding. a classic setup. I love it. Easy. It's hard for me not to go with P.J. Hall. I, I know people are going to talk about Kyle Filipowski, Johnny Broom, Armande Baycott. But that dude is an absolute stud, man. I he's mean, playing your four? He's playing your four? He's my four. Because I think he does all the, hard, all the hard work. I think he'll rebound. I think he can score. I think he'll communicate. I think he'll give it to you way differently than any other four. He'd be great. But if, if we're putting a team together that's actually going to play, I'd want McCuller at the four because he can stretch the defense around Zach Eady. He can knock down threes. He's a great driver, gets to the free throw line, can handle it but he's also a, a fabulous defender. I mean, as far as a complete player goes at that spot, I don't think there's a better one than Kevin McCullough. Well, if you really want a four that can do all those things at 6'9", 6'10", it's Ron Holmes. Ron Holmes is 6'10", shoots 40 from the three, about eight rebounds a game, can put it on the floor and drive it from the, from the elbow, uh, protects the rim. He's Obi Toppin 1.0. Uh, I think Ron Holmes is having a monster year at Dayton. Dayton's a team that can win games in the NCAA tournament. He would complement that team and still be a skilled four. What are you counting? Two point oh or one point oh? Here, two here's, point what, is. Yeah. Here's, here's what I think because oh, yeah, Ob is like Ob. I mean, you know, he's Ob one could. <laughs> no. You got to put him up. <laughs> when, when we turned these in so that Cavman, our producer, could figure it out, I too had Deron Holmes as a starter. Oh. But I think that Kevin McCuller is having such a terrific season. He's got to be a starter in, in the All-Star game here. He's if you want, like, a, a scoring team, I'd make connect the four and put okay. Reeves in. Okay, one, one more quick. Let's do this quick. All -star Give me a bench guy. Give me a bench guy. A bench guy. guy. I think Antonio Reeves should be a starter if we're going scoring, but – so I'm I'd, I'd like him on the bench. You get to define it. You say Antonio Reeves. Yeah. What say you? Yes. I, I, I like points off the bench. Let's go Caleb Love. He'll get shots up quickly. Okay, so we've got Antonio Reeves for one bench player. We've got Caleb Love. Yep, got right Caleb above, Love. right there. Right Where's side. Caleb? There yep, he is. Boom. Getting used to the new logo still with Caleb Love. Seth, who's your bench <laughs> guy here? I guess it's going to be Deron Holmes, right? It would be Deron Holmes because the guy would okay. put on the bench that could really defend is Jamal Shedd, but he didn't make the final 20. He didn't make ah. the final 20. Billis, who you got? Salty. Hunter, Hunter Dickinson. You got Hunter the combo Dickinson of Dickinson and Edie. Forget it. All right, so that's four. That leaves that leaves one. That leaves I think one I bench guy. That leaves one bench oh, guy here. I mean, John L. Davis has gone Ooh, to the final welcome. four. Armando Baycott is terrific. Philip House, he's going to do Hall. it. Hall's great. He's going to do it. <laughs> Here it comes. I There's knew it. really only one choice. <laughs> I knew it. There's really only one choice. Let's bring out the broom. It's Janai Broom, who goes right here at the top. <laughs> there he goes. How about Janai Broom? That's our college game day. It's an all-star all -star team. All -star. By the way, Tristan Newton, how did he, how is he not on there? Because you were in charge. Yeah. <laughs>